waving too. Ford is waving. Hi guys. Hello. Good morning, everyone. All right. Let's start the morning meeting. We are going to do a book for morning meeting. And we are going to do some calendar for morning meeting. And then we're going to go over the schedule. And then we will be all done with morning meeting and we'll start journal. All right, everybody. I'm going to turn my computer to this. So hopefully everybody will be able to see. Let's go ahead and get started. So while we wait for everybody to log in, we're going to read Chester's Way by Kevin And I know Aya loves these books, right? These Kevin Hinks books. Have any of y'all read the Kevin Hinks books? I know we read Lily's Purple Plastic first in here. Yes, and we read Wimberly Worried. We've also read Wimberly Worried. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is Chester's Way. And it's about a little mouse who likes things a certain way, okay? All right, let's start reading. Chester had his very own way of doing things. Let's see, can you see Adeline? Is it Chester the raccoon? Chester, it's the same name as Chester the raccoon, but this is Chester the mouse. He always cut his sandwiches diagonally. He always got out of bed on the same side. And he never left the house without double knotting his shoes. Chester always had the same thing for breakfast. Toast with jam and peanut butter. And he always carried a miniature first aid kit in his back pocket, just in case. You definitely have a mind of your own, said Chester's mother. That's one way to put it, said Chester's father. So he's very, very particular, right? He likes things a certain way. Chester's best friend, Wilson, was exactly the same way. That's why they were best friends. Chester wouldn't play baseball unless Wilson played, and they never swung at the first pitch or slid head first. Wilson wouldn't ride his bike unless Chester wanted to, and they always used hand signals. If Chester was hungry, Wilson was too. They were, or they rarely ate between meals. Some days I can't tell those two apart, said Wilson's mother. Me either, said Wilson's father. Chester and Wilson, Wilson and Chester, <laughs> that's just the way it was. So they're two best friends and they really only play with each other and they're almost exactly the same. They like things the same way. They loved to go on picnics once when Wilson accidentally swallowed a watermelon seed and cried because he was afraid that a watermelon plant would grow inside him. Chester swallowed one too. Don't worry, said Chester. Now if you grow a watermelon plant, I'll grow one too. Chester duplicated his Christmas list every year and gave a copy to Wilson because they always wanted the same thing. You can't see, let me try to move it a little bit. Is that a little better? Okay. For Halloween, they always dressed up as things that went together. Salt and pepper shakers, two mittens. They really are two peas in a pod, said Chester's mother. Looks like it, said Chester's father. So they're friends and they're almost exactly the Where same. Where are the two mittens? They like all the same things. Those are the two mittens right there. Oh, and the two eggs and then like yep. other things and so I'll try to raise it a little bit for you. I know. I have new toys now. In spring, Chester and Wilson shared the same umbrella. In winter, they never threw snowballs at each other. In fall, they raked leaves together. And in the spring, summer, they reminded each other to wear their socks. Thanks. Chester and Wilson, Wilson and Chester. That's just the way it was. And then Lily moved into the neighborhood. Do y'all remember Lily from Lily's Purple Plastic Purse? Yeah, Lily had her own way of doing things. So that's interesting. So Chester and Wilson are very, very similar, right? Like they're almost, they like almost like all the same things. But Lily is really different, right? She likes tons of different things. Let's see if they can all be friends. Let's see, oh, and good morning, Isley, hi. <laughs> She wore band-aids all over her arms and legs to look extra brave. 
she talked backwards to herself sometimes, so no one would know what she was saying. And she never left the house without one of her nifty disguises. Ooh, so we know that Lily likes to wear disguises. Okay. Yeah. Lily waved at all the cars that passed by, even if she didn't know who was in them. And she always carried a loaded squirt gun in her back pocket, just in case. So look, she carries a little water squirter in her back pocket, just in case she needs it. She definitely has a mind of her own, said Chester. That's one way to put it, said Wilson. So they're very different from Lily. When Lily asked Chester and Wilson to play, they said they were busy. Oh, so they don't want to play with her because she's, she's probably really, she's different. They don't really want to play with her. When she called them on the phone, they disguised their voices and said they weren't home. Oh, if Lily was walking on one side of the street, Chester and Wilson crossed the street and hid behind a tree. Oh, they don't want to like see her or play with her because she's different. Look how funny she's wearing a disguise there. She's funny. I like it. Lily's wearing a disguise. She is something else, said Chester. Yeah, maybe so. One day, while Chester and Wilson were practicing their hand signals, some older boys rode by, popping wheelies. They circled Chester and Wilson and yelled not nice things at them. Uh-oh, so now there's some older boys and they came over on bikes and they're not being very nice to Chester and Wilson. Chester and Wilson didn't know what to do. So they're scared and they don't know what to do to the older boys to get them to stop. Just when they were about to give up hope, a fierce looking cat with horrible fangs jumped out of the bushes and frightened the older boys away. Now look, this cat has a little water squirter. Hmm, I wonder who that is in that disguise. Any idea? You think that might be Lily? The Lily! You think Does she so? have the water squirter? Yes, because she did have that water squirter, right? Let's see. And she does have those boots. Yes, the same boots, too. Chester and Wilson, they said, Me too. Are you who I think you are? They asked the cat. Of course. The cat replied and took off her disguise. And look, it was Lily. Y'all were right, it was Lily. Thank you, Lily, said Chester. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Chester, said Lily. Thank you, Lily, said Wilson. You're welcome, Wilson, said Lily. Well, I'm glad you were wearing that disguise, said Chester. I always do, said Lily, just in case. Afterward, Chester invited Lily over for lunch. Chester and Wilson cut their sandwiches diagonally at lunch. Lily asked Chester's mother if she had cookie cutters, and she made stars and flowers and bells out of her sandwiches. That's neat, said Chester. Wow, said Wilson. That night, Lily invited Chester and Wilson to a sleepover. You have a nightlight too, they asked. Of course, said Lily. Chester and Wilson wanted toast with jam and peanut butter for breakfast the next morning. Or you could try this instead, said Lily. Mmm, that's good, said Chester and Wilson. Ooh, so because of Lily, Chester and Wilson are trying all sorts of new things. So it turns out having a friend that's different from you is really, really fun, and it gets you to try new things. Yes, Will Wheeler. Okay. Okay. After that, when Lily asked Chester and Wilson to play, they always said yes. Chester and Wilson taught Lily hand signals, and she taught them how to pop wheelies on their bike. Lily taught Chester and Wilson how to talk backwards, and they taught her how to double knot her shoelaces. So when friends are different from you, they can teach you all sorts of different things, right? Some days I can't tell those three apart, said Lily's mother. Chester and Wilson and Lily, Lily and Wilson and Chester. That's just the way it was. Until Victor moved in the neighborhood. Ooh, now there's a new kid in the neighborhood and his name is Victor. I wonder what happened. Maybe there's a different book about Victor. We'll have to get that one. So this book, we, re we realized that having friends that are really different from us is way more fun because they can teach us how to do new things. 
Okay, Isley, do you have a question? What's your question, Isley? Did you know that in my other school, my old school, I had a boyfriend? Oh, cool. Maybe he was a he was just a friend. He was a friend who's a boy. That's nice. It's definitely always nice to have friends who are boys and friends that and, are girls, right? And did you know that he said he loved me more than anything? Well, it's really good when we love our friends and our friends love us back, right? That makes us feel good, right? Okay, yes, Wheeler. Um, or, I'm sorry, Wheeler first and then Harrison. Sorry, yes, Wheeler. Oh, Harrison, will you put your mask up, sweet your parents about it. This desk might not fit um, this band. We might have to get you another band. I emailed your mom about it, okay? All right, everybody, let's go over the schedule for today, and then we'll do some calendar. So here's our schedule. Drop off and coloring is done. That's for the kids that are in the classroom. We're doing morning meeting right now. After morning meeting, we're going to do some journals, and then we'll do math, and then the kids in the classroom are going to have snack and recess, and the kids at home will have a break. And then we're going to see Miss Burks for music, and then we'll do some foundations. We get a new letter today. It's the letter I. And then we'll do social studies. We have some family posters to share. I'm so excited. And then story time. And that's it. And then that's it for the day. All right, guys, let's do some calendar. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to get my pointer and I'm going to point to the month. Let's see. The month starts with an S. Do we remember what month it is? September. Yes, it's September. September with the S. Okay. All right. So now I'm pointing to the year. Do you remember what year it is? Some work I have to 2000. Do. 2000. I guess. Or you can say 2020. Okay, now let's figure out. Yes, or 2020. Now let's figure out the date. It looks like yesterday was September 13. What comes after 13? 15. November. 15. I see a couple different answers. 14, 15. Let's count to make sure we get it right. We're going to count from one. You ready? One. One. Two. two three. Three. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eight, ten, nine, ten, nine, Eleven. Nine, Twelve. Nine, Thirteen. Fifteen. So today is 14. Now. What color does it need to be today? Our pattern is blue, red, red. Blue, red, red. Red, red. Red, red. Red, red. Red, red. Red, red. Red, My red is 14. Now, what two numbers are in the number 14? One and one. And a four. Yeah, a one and a four. Yeah, very good. So I'm gonna put my 14 there, and now we need to figure out the day of the week. So to figure out the day of the week, we point to the date, and then we go all the way up. Now the day of the week starts with an M. It starts with a Monday. Monday. M sound. Good job, Catherine. Monday. But the day is Monday. So I'm gonna put my arrow down to Monday. Okay, now my favorite part of calendar, Let's do the day of school. How many days have we been at school? And how many days until we fill a new row? Okay, and I'll help you in a little bit. All right, let's see. Last time was 17. What comes after 17? Now look, here's the eighth row. Oh, 
Mueller thinks 18. I think he might. Oh, Adeline thinks 18 too. Okay. Yeah, 18. Elliot thinks. Let's count from 11. Let's see. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, we're right. Today is number 18. We've been in school for 18 days. Good job, Catherine. So in 18 is a one and an eight, right? A one and an eight. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Whoa, how many more days until we fill another row? Two. Look at that, we need two more days until we fill a row. And then how many rows have we filled? Then what? We two. Two rows, that's right. Pretty cool. Okay, let's figure out our pattern. What kind of pattern? Mom, get me some more. Okay, I finally did the type of pattern that you all had been asking for. Here's our pattern. Let's see, first, let's say the pattern by shape. Okay, are we ready? So we have square, triangle, circle, star, rectangle. And then we start over. Square, triangle, circle, star, rectangle. And then we would start over with another square, right? Now, does anybody know what kind of letter pattern that is? Uh, e pattern. Yeah, you think so? A, B, C, D, E pattern. Okay, let's do it by letter. Let's see. A, B, E, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. And then A would come next. So an A, B, C, D, E pattern. Whoa, that's a long pattern. All right. I don't think I have that many shapes. All right, let's do our, our what about at? The season is summer. The weather is, last time we did the weather on, I think it was on Wednesday, it was cloudy and cold in Austin, but it's not cloudy and cold anymore, is it? What's the weather outside now? Yeah, it's pretty sunny and it's not cold anymore. Yeah, now it's pretty hot. Or you could say it was warm. It's up to you, either one. Okay, so we are all done with cat with morning meeting now. So if you That's like, to say. you can check off morning meeting. And uh, Aya, did you want to share something while we check off on our schedule? Yes. Um, Dad got us a new deck, new chairs, and he got me a new pillow sheet, new sheets, and a new blanket. And they're all bunnies, and we got a new deck, new porch, and I can like scoot around on it. And we got some new chairs, and Foxy's bed is on one. Aya, oh. you know. oh, that's so exciting to get new And I finally got my figures. One's upside down. Wow. That's awesome. So, Aya, if you want to, you can have your parents sign up for one on one time with me, and you can show me all those things, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes, yes. I'm going to do morning meeting. Next on our schedule is journal. So let's all get our journals out. And remember, journals look like this. Okay, journals look like this. So let's get your journal out. And Colin, you want to get your journal out? It looks like this, and it's right in your black storage bin. Okay. So while you kids at home are getting your journals out, I'm gonna help the kids in the classroom get their journals. All right, Colin, let's find, let's look in here and can you find your journals? Okay. Yes, you did. And today, we just figured out in calendar that today was September 14th, 2020. So find the page that has September 14th, 2020 at the top. And if your parents haven't written it in, you could ask them to right now, okay? And then your parents are also gonna write in this weekend I. So think about what you did over the weekend. And for the kids in class- This weekend? I wrote it already. This weekend, I. This, this weekend? Yes, Aya, do you 
want to share with us what you did over the weekend? We can all hear you. This weekend, this weekend, me and my mom and my brother built a new cabinet. Oh, wow. That sounds like a really productive, fun weekend. Awesome. So that's what you could draw in your journal then, Aya. Does anybody else want to did, but it's kind of green. Over the weekend or what they want to draw in their journal? I know. I'll help you in one second. I'm just getting Colin's journal ready. Okay, so everybody, yeah, the page should look like this. Here's the day of the month. Sure, that's fine too. So it says September 14, 2020, this weekend I. So think about what you did over the weekend and draw it right here. I need to get on. Think about what you did over the weekend. I'm going to draw it right here. I'm going to draw it right here. I covered it. of outside you could draw a picture of you playing outside that was an example oh, tell us what you did over the weekend tell us about your journal charles well, i just have to do one thing to make you be able to see stuff okay okay so everyone's working on their journals that looks good and you can tell us what you okay so, see, this is a little bird. Okay. I see a little bird. A little, little brown specks. I bird food. Oh. And then this is my arms. And then this is my head. And then this is this blue sky. Oh my gosh. So, let me guess from your drawing what you did over the weekend. Did you feed birds over the weekend? Yes, at a bird sanctuary. Oh, and we saw turkeys. Oh, Wild awesome. turkeys. Did you guys hear that in the classroom? Charles said in his journal, he drew a picture in his journal of him feeding the birds. Did you ask 
Because over the weekend, he went to bird sanctuary and fed birds, and he even saw wild turkeys there. So that's what he drew in his Daddy. Awesome. Daddy. Okay. Catherine, what do you do? Did you do your weekend? What'd you do? Climb a tree. You come up So Catherine drew a tree. Let me see your picture, Catherine. Oh, look, Catherine drew a picture of her climbing a tree because over the weekend, she climbed a tree. I love it. Good job, Catherine. Okay, Charles, did you want to say something else? So, yes. They, like, flew down, like, oh, I'm going to eat my hand. Like, um, oh, my gosh. Eat from my hand. They okay, even ate my tree. Had a oh, that's so fun. They sound like really yeah. good birds. Yeah, they landed and ate from my hand. Super cool. Does anybody in the classroom want to share what they did? Colin did his journal. Ooh, so Harrison, over the weekend, he did. Over the weekend, he made his family poster, because look, there's his family poster. Very good. Oh, these journals look great. Let me show you. I'm a Let's see. Forrest is this weekend I, and then let's see. He drew a picture of swimming, and then he even tried to write, and he did fantastic, went swimming. That's awesome. So he finished the sentence, went swimming, and I helped him with his writing. So if you're at home, Maybe your parents can finish the sentence or they can help you with your writing. Do you want to share yours, Adeline? Me and my family. Oh, I went hungry about to go to a bunch of house that has a beach and bunk bed. Ooh, a beach and bunk bed. It sounds like a little vacation house. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. I'll have to remember that one. What, sweetie? Oh, do you want to share it? Okay, put your mask on and then let's share it. Make sure you keep your mask up. Okay, let's see Colin's journal, what Colin did over the weekend. There's his drawing. Do you want to tell us about it, Colin? I, I, I play with my beach ball. Ooh, Colin said he played with his beach ball over the weekend. So he drew a picture of him playing with his beach ball. Awesome. So I'll write in pencil. Played with beach ball to finish the sentence, but eventually you all will be doing some of the writing. Played with beach ball. Oh, I can help you with your writing, Adeline. Okay, let's spend maybe about another minute coloring in our journals and then we're gonna start math, okay? Let's spend about another minute on journals and then we're gonna start math after this. Okay. And I have a vacation. Okay. We don't want to It'll be snack time right after math. It's almost snack. All right, guys, let's do some checking off on our journal. So let's or checking off on our schedule. Let's check off journals. So guys at your desks, you could do some checking off on your schedule if you want. Let's check off journal. Oh, Vina, that looks wonderful. This weekend, I went to my friend's birthday party? Yeah. Oh, Vina, that sounds so fun, and I love your illustration too. Very beautiful, Vina. Cool. So I checked off journal. Next on our schedule is math. We have a fun map to do today because I asked your parents to make a little bag of things for math. If your parents remember to make a little bag of things for math, you can go get it now. If you don't have a little bag of things for math, don't worry. I'm going to show you on the screen, okay? So don't worry. I'm going to show you if you don't have one. Okay, I see Charles has his. I'm gonna give you one. 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 I'm gonna give you one.
So we're going to do for math, everybody. We're going to put our journals away. So make sure that you put your journal away. So make sure that you put your journal. Are these the things? Let's see. Harrison, Ford, Colin. Put your journals away. Okay. Okay. One second. No, at, at home. I'll be right back. My time. This did you do at the park, Isley? I went down the slide and I also climbed the ladder up and I also swinged on the swing for about 20 hours. Whoa, that sounds really fun. Okay, let's see. We're almost ready, kids at home. Thank you for being patient. Uh, <laughs> shape of a cube 
and the texture is kind of um, soft and squishy. Yeah, so kids at home, you might have something different that's soft and squishy. Yeah, but the kids in the classroom, the dice is soft and squishy. So that is the texture. It's soft, right? So the texture is soft. All right, let's reach back in the bag. Now I want you to find something with a hard, smooth texture. Find something. Yes, you did, Elliot. Find something with a hard, smooth texture. Yeah. Kids you might have something with a different that's a hard, smooth texture. But in the classroom, we've got some blocks. So feel the block. It's smooth, isn't it? It's smooth and hard. Feel the block. So that's the texture, smooth and hard. Okay. Now, let's reach back in the bag. Does anybody feel anything? is hard and kind of like pokey. Does anybody have a feel anything that's hard and yeah. kind of pokey? Oh, yes. The texture of this paper clip is hard and it's kind of pokey, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh. You found something soft, Colin. That's the texture. Okay, reach back in your bag. Does anybody feel anything that's a little bit bumpy? Anybody feel kind of bumpy? Yeah. Oh, so in the classroom, we have these little objects, and do you see how the texture is rough and bumpy? That's sticky. Do you see how the texture is rough and bumpy? This is really good. This is bumpy. Yeah. One side is soft, one side is rough and bumpy. Well, it's just rough. Yeah, so it's rough and bumpy. Okay. This is pokey. It's got pokey. Oh. Okay. So texture is how something feels. This is sticky tape. This one, this foam was soft and squishy. This is rough and it's bumpy. Oh, Catherine found something soft. And then the cube, the plastic cube was the texture was smooth and hard, right? All right, nice job with your texture bags, everybody. So here are your directions. Put everything back in your bag. Everything is in back in my bag. Back in your bag. And then put your bag away to the side. We're done with our bags. Now, good listening, everybody. Wonderful helping everybody. Oh, you're to have your textbook. So well, would you add a line? Oh, Harrison, um, yeah, Harrison's listening good. We learned for let's put everything back in the bag and then put the bag to the side. Uh, find our math books. Find your math textbooks and turn to page eight. The little number eight. Turn to page eight. And kids in the at home, I'm gonna help everybody in the classroom. So you might need to wait just a second but I will put this to page eight so you know that that's what we're gonna do when we, when I'm done helping everybody in the classroom, okay? Okay, so I guess you can do now. that. I have it now. I have it. Oh no! How does it? I got on my math book. Right. Good. And now, no, but it's like sticking to my math. Number eight, and we're almost ready. Put the piece off. Number eight. How does it feel? Yes. Now that everybody has page eight out in your math books, 
now we're ready to get our pencils out. Now we're ready to get your pencil out. Make sure you have a pencil out. Does everybody have a pencil? Black pencil, please. Okay, Sam. You want a bigger pencil? Charles, don't do that. Don't ever do that. You want a bigger pencil to hold, or is that okay? Taylor are finding their pencils. Okay, kids at home, you ready? So we are going to look at page eight. We don't actually have to do anything on page eight other than look at it and discuss it, talk about it. So on page eight, I see a lot of things on a table, right? I see a lot of things on a table. I see a pineapple. Does everybody see that pineapple? Yeah? So how do you think that pineapple would feel if you touch yeah. it? What do you think the texture would be? Oh, Elliot said rough. Harrison said rough. Anybody at home want to share what you think? Catherine, what do you think that pineapple would look like? Bumpy. Yeah, bumpy. And I, um, Aya bumpy. says rough, rough and bumpy. Yeah, I think y'all are right. This pineapple would definitely feel rough and bumpy, right? I also see a piece of bread. Look at that bread. How do you think that bread would feel? Smooth. Yeah, Elliot and Vina say smooth. smooth. Wheeler says smooth. smooth. Do you think that it would be really hard or do you think it would be soft and squishy? Soft and squishy. Yeah, bread soft is soft and squishy. Soft, right? So maybe smooth and soft. Soft and squishy. What about, I see, is this a little egg? I see like a chicken egg there. How do you think the egg would feel? Do you think the egg would feel soft? Uh, smooth. Yeah, the egg would smooth, feel hard, smooth, right? Maybe smooth, smooth and hard? Smooth, smooth. smooth and hard, smooth, 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 you think it, so it might be kind of like a little bit rough, but mostly maybe smooth and hard. What about I also see a tennis ball? Has anybody ever felt a tennis ball? Yeah. What do the tennis balls feel like? What, what's the texture of a tennis ball? You think maybe kind of like fuzzy, right? Aren't they? Yeah. Adeline says they're a little bit fuzzy. Yeah. And then, yes, I see, is this a bowl? They're a little bit hard, yeah. I see a bowl too. Imagine that you're you're feeling a bowl. Does that feel rough and bumpy or does that feel smooth? Yeah, bowls usually feel pretty smooth, right? That's their texture. Okay, now you're gonna need your pencil for page number nine. So everybody go to page number nine. Make sure you have a little number nine at the bottom. Is everybody looking at page number nine? Okay, here are your directions for page number nine. There's two things in the middle. There's a ribbon and there's a peanut. Now imagine that you're having your, your hand on a ribbon. It's nice and smooth, right? Smooth. Ribbons are smooth. Now imagine that your hand has a peanut in it. Peanuts are bumpy and rough, right? Peanuts are bumpy and rough, that's their texture. So here's the plan. I want you to one by one, I want you to draw a line from all the things on the side, if it's smooth, draw a line to the smooth ribbon. If it's bumpy, draw a line to the rough, bumpy peanut. And we'll do it together, okay? Or you could do it by yourself, it's up to you. Okay, Colin, you wanna get your pencil out? We're gonna start. Okay, the shirt, Harrison says the shirt is soft, like the ribbon. So we're gonna draw a line from the shirt to the ribbon, okay? All right, Yes, yes, and then Adeline says, I think that, oh, Adeline says the pine cone over here is rough and bumpy like the peanut. So we're gonna draw a line from the pine cone to the peanut because they're both rough and bumpy. 
Okay, Colin, did you draw a line from the pine cone to the peanut? Because they're both rough and bumpy. Good job, Colin. All right, now let's do, I think this is a coconut. Have you ever felt a coconut? They're definitely rough and bumpy. They have like little hairs on them. So we'll draw a line from the coconut to the peanut because those are both rough and bumpy. One second. Oh, also, I'm using black markers so the kids at home can see really well, but you guys make sure you're using pencil, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Keep going. And now let's do the balloon. If you haven't done the balloon yet, imagine that you're feeling a balloon. You're touching a balloon. Yeah, Elliot says it would be smooth. Yeah, Elliot is right. Balloons are smooth. So we're gonna draw a line from the balloon to the ribbon. Let's do the rock. Wheeler, I know Wheeler already did the rock and Wheeler said rocks are rough and bumpy, like a peanut, right? So we're gonna draw a line from the rough, bumpy rock to the rough, bumpy peanut. What about a plastic water bottle? What do you think about a plastic? No. Oh, Adeline says it would be smooth. No. Okay, let's draw a line from the plastic water bottle to the ribbon, because it would be smooth. That's the texture. No, I like okay, and last one is the apple. Imagine you have an apple in your hand. What would it feel like? Yeah, the texture of the Can we apple. Can the nail? would be smooth, right? Um, Have we done the nail? The nail? Oh, I forgot about the screw down there. Thank you, Aya. I forgot about that screw. I didn't even see it. Yes, Wheeler says the- Rough and bumpy. Would be rough and bumpy, good, yes. So we're gonna draw a line from the screw to the peanut. And then you guys said the apple is smooth, right? So we'll do the, the apple apple's definitely smooth. up to the ribbon, okay? So we matched things based on their texture, if they were smooth or if they were rough and bumpy. Okay, that's how we matched things. Okay? Yes, you can, Cora, sure. Okay, so we, okay, put your mask back on. Good job, Colin. So we're done with math for today, so we can close our math book. So close your math book. And now let's make sure our desks are nice and clean. Let's make sure are our crayons put away, our markers and our pencils put away. Good. And let's take a look at our schedule. Let's see how we're doing on our schedule, everybody. Okay, I think it's time to do some checking off. We're going to check off math. You all did a great job with texture today in math. Now, next on our schedule for the kids in the classroom is snack and recess. So hey. means next on the schedule for you at home, you have a little break. And then uh -huh, because we got the new porch, I can scoot around it. And then after snack and recess break, then we're gonna come back and have music together. So that means you'll be in Miss Burke's Zoom. So you can go ahead and sign off of my Zoom because when we meet again after the break, we're gonna be with Miss Burke's Zoom, okay? So do we all wanna say bye to each other and we'll see each other in music? Bye! Bye! We'll see you in music. Bye! 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 Bye!